we got to, we have to evolve as hitting coaches, as coaches in general, because we have one job: make our players better. Okay, I always think one level above, but that's not easy because now what people don't realize this is a tough one. There are no cookie cutters, and I think that's what coaches say. Particularly, you guys have your hands tied because NCA compliance rules. You don't have enough time with the hitter. You just, you don't. It's really, when you think about the skill set required to play the game of baseball, and the amount of time you need to rebuild a hitter, you don't have time. I mean, you've got, like I said, a, a short window of time to try and make a difference. So I've talked to coaches and said, well, yeah, you know, we gotta just kind of go ABC, one, two, three. I said, okay, you're gonna have limited success. But the thing I encourage you to do is Integrate your players into it and make them accountable because the work they're going to do outside of practice is what's going to make the difference. In a team practice, even an individual, how much individual hours do you get? Eight hours a week. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, or but baseball. But however, oh, yeah. what about baseball? Again, it limits up because guess what else is Lipping. taking? Yeah. Right. Conditioning. Right. Which is another thing we're going to be looking at too because a lot of times you sure remember realize uh, the adage of, you know, Let's get stronger. We need you to get stronger. What happens to get strong wrong? You know what strong wrong is? We have strong wrong in the room. That's stiff. And I'm, with all due respect, you realize you said, I gotta get bigger to compete, <clears throat> but what happens if I get tight? And we've all seen this. You know that guy's sophomore year pop drops like five or six, and everybody says, Hey, draft rep, draft coming up, you know, you need to hit twelve or fifteen. What's the first thing he does? Right? I'm going to mass up. I'm going to get stronger. How, how do they look their junior year? Slows them down, right? Suddenly now, or, or they're really, now they're into the point of, I'm over swinging. I'm going to try hard. I need to hit with power. And they forget how to hit. <laughs> Not forget, they just, they can't make the moves that they used to. Because again, with restricted movements in our body, <coughs> we're going to probably to recruit things in, in a bad sequence and again just try to barrel up and do too much you know um, as we talked about the influence of a lot of the social media and all this stuff that's in your faces and those hitters faces every day there's primarily what I call over swinging you know big shoulder moves you know swing hard and you know, everybody like, you know, pats himself on the back. Yet for uh, probably the last six or seven years, I get coaches from Major League Baseball all the way down going, man, those are bad swings. <laughs> but now I'm getting coaches come up and tell me, it's like, that's, that's my freshman. And they, they hold on to this stuff. And you know what, it might, it might have worked in high school. It could have worked in high school. But what happens when they move up in four-year ball? things change a little bit, right? So I'm not saying those kids weren't good enough baseball players to move up, but they ran into a brick wall because everything they were doing wasn't working forward to get right movements and key adjustability. 